Played first halves only against UNLV and Belmont. Brown did a great job to step in there. This is dangerous, and Dickey's... Tony Deleuze always brings out the best of this Demon Deacon team whenever he plays the Tar Heels. Because when you think about it, they're pretty hard and got a little bit of her body. Usually the goalkeeper gets the benefit oh, of that rain. It'll fall to the feet there of Adams and handled there by Dickey. Celebrated just her fifth birthday. <laughs> she was born February 29th. Coach Levy, obviously those two programs sharing a home field at Doran's Field, sharing an office building. Pretty easy to do. Fox comes over, support. This is a good ball, and Dickey is challenged. Phenomenal. Of a beautiful ball coming out of the midfield. It's Gray with her left foot. The game able to stay healthy, and this could be a dangerous chance in the box. Point blank range for Graham against her old high school teammate Claudia Dickey, who makes the save. Dude, because you just don't get behind UNC very often. You catch them sleeping. Graham in a great position. Ball kept close to the goal, but those long arms of Claudia Dickey take it away. This way is still being a part of the game. Blue Devils a chance on the counter here, low on the ground for Dickey. See if they can make something happen on this set piece. Into the box, punched by Dickey. Nice looking ball toward Delaney Graham, who does track it down. Graham gets onto it, her shot is high. A chance here if Duke can get to this, but Claudia Dickey knew she had looking to try and get some help. And a great shot there. He took over at Clemson. Actually was the coach of the first U19 World Cup team. And here we see Cox breaking through. She's got Della Puerta behind her. Nice. The only goal so far in our first half of play. This one bouncing around and right. When a center back is the freshman of the year in this conference, especially when you have so many scoring players. Players with scoring prowess, excuse me. And what's going on right now for this North Carolina team? As you mentioned, doesn't want to put any pressure on his players, but they know exactly what's expected. You know, one of the things he likes to do with his players is sit them down and say, okay, where are you going and what spots are open? And they literally sit down with the national team roster and look at players. Dorsey to put it in play and she'll feed it all the way back to Dickey. By the way, she's wearing her third different jersey in this match. She started with a grayish top. Not just with Clemson, but potentially with the national team. Handcuff and the Tigers had not surrendered a goal this. Morris now playing almost in a, the Clemson's now in almost like a, a 4 2 4 with both Morris sisters up front. But here is Meza with. In terms of getting back on defense, how important is Syracuse's they structure? They have out there and, and score the goals. They would both be splitting the time. Syracuse with a free kick near Dickey. And she grabs it away for UNC and a quick distribution here. Playing the ball and pressuring up right now is going to be the sense of confidence that they need to start this half. We heard Cooper Boardman and Brad Klein talking. Yeah. You on the same page as them? Yeah, I, I would say two. Two nothing would be a, would be a huge win to, to have a shutout this half. And, and Here's Lindsey Brick. Puts it right near net and an offside. Here and this just be another step to develop and to be hungry to want more. Here comes Walk, overtakes it. Jennings drives low. Dickey's there for the save. A little misdirection, but Claudia Dickey, who has a future with the U.S. women's earlier today. In the 70th minute, it's 3 0 North. Dorrance Field, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, home to the North Carolina Tar Heel women's soccer team, men's soccer team, both lacrosse teams, alongside the great Kyle Straub, recently married Kyle Straub. Congrats. Thought to let one rip there from Izzy. 
If you can get it through that line, it's hard enough that it's probably going to come off the keeper. Phenomenal defensive work. That's your center forward, Cox, right there, doing the defensive work on that. Final words for the subs before they get on there. Laney Graham, been waiting to see her. Gets it. Good ball in, and Dickey has it. Let's take a look. Turn to Canada, Mexico, and the United States in 2026. Dangerous ball there, and Notre Dame trying to capitalize. They will force Claudia Dickey into a save, something she does not have to do all that often with a great defense and fence in front of her. And one of the things Notre Dame wanted to do as well is press a little bit more. So you see Wingate, you see other their other forwards, Fisher getting in there, creating some chaos. <laughs> North Carolina gets the lead. Notre Dame looking for an answer. That one's going right toward the goal and into the gloves of Claudia Dickey. Ball flicked forward by Dorsey. Dorsey's now switched to the left side with McCabe. All time. Sumter has kept this going for Virginia. It goes all the way across, streaks to Spanstra. Back toward the goal, and Claudia Dickey's been a little more busy than she might like. Three games oh. to Anson Dorsey. Oh, no. And his son. I'm not happy about it, Jim. Ball over the top. Dickey waits on it, has to play it with her feet, and had Ordonez breathing down her neck. Terry Torres, make the substitution for Carolina in ring number five. Carolina making some connections. Gambon goes down. Penalty kick coming, North Carolina. Good things happen when you take on in the box. And look who's coming up to take the penalty. It is the opposing goalkeeper, Claudia Dickey. We saw her do this in the shootout in the national championship game against Stanford last year. She made it, by the way. Virginia has conceded all four of the penalties they face this season. Virginia attack. Torres scoops it up. Turned by Sumter. Back to Torres. Her left footed shot is saved, but just for a moment coughed up by Dickey. She gets back onto it. And Torres just needing a little bit of a gap, and there's Ordonia's run in front for that rebound if it does come. Florida State players are so good and they do so much offensively, but I feel like defensively, Bell is so savvy. She may have to make a big play. The helper goalkeeper there as Ordonez running after that one. Another great matchup with Bell and Ordonez there. Matchups all over. Ordonez and Spanstra closing in on Dick. Both players back up and ready, and so too is Godfrey. Godfrey will take it, and Dickey, what is the word you use to describe Claudia Dickey, Julie? I know, it's my, it is. Every time I see Dickey, I said she is clean. She is always clean. You rarely see Dickey drop, fumble, allow any rebounds, even as she's backpedaling off balance. Godfrey trying to catch her in that transition. Godfrey just hits it so quick, she almost gets caught there as she's backing, backing. Oh. 
This touch by Fox is going to have to be cleaned up by Dickey. That is so well read by Dickey. Sumter. Spanstra with the cross. Excuse me. Too far on that attempt as Dickey picks it up. Just Nesbeth credited with the assist on both goals for Florida State so far. Out of the sun, into the shadows, Robbins to it. Dickey now has it. Wants to clear everybody out of that area. Get him down the field fast. It'll be Emily Fox to try to run this down. One of the fastest players in the country. Fox trying to get there. Pavlisko. What happened a few moments ago, but she's a freshman player. She's playing a great freshman year, but this is her first time in an ACC championship matchup. They're going to want to test her even more today. Ahead, Allen handles. Lynch touched it back down for Nesbeth. Little miscommunication. Clearly that back line thinking their top seniors in England. Chance here as Dickey comes out, can't play it out with her hands. Here's that service on the far side, stretching, stretching. Dickey realizing, wait, I'm outside my box. <laughs> the start of this match. Nesbeth will touch it for Berkeley. Malia Berkeley shot right at Claudia Dickey, no problem. Dickey, the all ACC first team selection at goalkeeper this year. That head forward, Rachel Jones gets onto it for North Carolina. Jones with the turn, her shot is blocked. Felt she was actually one of his best freshmen in the preseason. So you've got Della Peruta on one side, Cox on that left side. The other benefit to that 3-5-2 is it gives you that two front you can press up on. Jow got it to Nice Wonga who can strike from distance. Nice Wonga shot. Almost catches Dickey up with her. Brown being asked to run again. The Jamaican international has to get around Bell. Or wait for help. Nice Wonger. She'll take it right at Dickey.